Update 8 has brought a ton of unforeseen changes to Pet Simulator 99 that we need to talk about. A lot of these changes will cause some big effects on the market, so I think it's very important that we discuss these things and make a plan for investing our diamonds. Now, a lot of you guys know that Big Games completely foiled most of our investment plans for Update 8 as they changed a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't think they would change and then didn't change a whole lot of things that we thought they would change. In this video, I'm going to talk about most of those changes. I talked about a lot of them in the last video, but I'm going to be talking about them more in a investment slash market capacity. Uh, j just so you guys can understand like how these things are going to affect the market because in the video yesterday I didn't really do a deep dive into that so I thought that'd be good information for this video. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane. We're going to be doing a big giveaway over on my Discord. Link to join that Discord is down in the description below but you're going to want to be joined up for that giveaway. Let's cut the chit chat and get right into it because we have a lot to talk about with these changes in update 8. The first major change of update 8 that we should talk about is the booth tax. So if you guys didn't know, if you make a sale on your booth of something, the game is going to take a 1% tax of that sale price and just basically eat it up. So those diamonds are going straight into Preston's pocket, nobody is touching them essentially taking them out of the market. And what this change does is it basically helps to stop rap manipulators because when people try to manipulate the rap, they have to go here and they would be selling these things to their friends or their alt accounts to try to manipulate the sale price of the rap value. So they could basically no longer do that because each one of those sales that they do is going to be charged a 1% tax, which isn't a ton, but it usually is enough to deter people from trying it. Now, obviously, this can't 100% stop rap manipulators because if someone's willing to pay that 1%, if they feel like they can make more by manipulating the price and getting some trades off, then they're going to do it. But I think this is a good change that will stop the vast majority of the people trying to manipulate the rap value. Now, the other thing that this does is helps to stop rap manipulation. So as this 1% fee is being taken out of the sale prices, those diamonds are being taken out of the economy, which overall is sort of a good thing for new players. The only issue I have with this is it's just kind of annoying for traders. And I feel like the vast majority of people that play Pet Simulator 99 are doing trades in the trading plaza like here. So I feel like this 1% tax is just overall kind of uh, annoying to a lot of people. But, but big games can only do so much to help stop inflation without causing problems in other parts of the game. So I appreciate the effort by big games to try to stop inflation or bring it down a little bit. Overall though, that's just my opinion on the booth tax. Some people will like it, some people will definitely not like this change. But this is something that we have to take into account with our trades because now Big Games is going to be taking a 1% cut of all trades that we make. So that means the margin that we probably will have to charge for selling things will probably have to go up at least 1% to account for that 1% tax that we are getting now. Now, the second big thing that we should probably talk about update eight are the hype eggs. So we were predicting that we were going to get a ton of exclusive eggs entering the market. And it turns out the hype eggs were complete trash. As you can see, I have some from this account and my all in my inventory here. They are pretty much complete garbage. It seems like the odds to get the huges in this egg are uh, astronomically low. Like basically nobody is getting them. So nobody really wants to buy these things. As you can see, they're selling for 1.65 million, which isn't too bad to be honest. I'm sure some people will buy them and try to still get that chance. But we're definitely not going to be able to sell them for as much as we thought because they are just so trash. And because we thought we were getting all of these free exclusive eggs in this update, I was predicting that the other eggs probably wouldn't go up as much because people would be focused on opening those as there would be a large supply of them for absolutely free. 
But of course, they weren't really exclusive eggs, I guess, and uh, they turned out to be something else. We were also promised an event that would give us free exclusive eggs that would pop up randomly. And personally, I haven't seen any of these events pop up on any of my accounts. So I don't know if this is something that's actually going on. I did see a Twitter post that said that this event wasn't actually coded into the game or that it was coded to like not pop up at all or even if it did pop up it has like a zero percent chance to even give you the exclusive eggs so i don't know if any of that's true that's just what i saw on twitter but we can probably expect to not get any exclusive eggs this update it turns out even though we were expecting to get a ton for free so that is pretty disappointing i bet a lot of people are very sad about that I know a lot of people were probably very excited to be able to open exclusive eggs for the first time and get them for free. The next important thing that we must talk about, which I really do not want to talk about, but we must talk about it in this video, are the exclusive enchants. So if you guys didn't know, they ended up not removing the boss chest mimic from the exclusive shop once again. So this is now the third update that we've seen with the boss chest mimic in the exclusive shop. Now a ton of people thought the boss chest mimic was leaving the exclusive shop for good because they did have this little last chance words right below it in the last update. So we were pretty confident that this was leaving the exclusive shop. But it turns out big games thought they could make an extra couple bucks if they left it in for people to continue buying. In response to this not leaving the exclusive shop, the value of it dropped almost a hundred million diamonds overnight, which is pretty significant. So I know a lot of people are very disappointed in big games for doing this. It seems like this is just not going to be a good investment for the long term because the fact that it has been in the exclusive shop for so long means that there is so much supply of these things that people are probably hoarding hundreds and hundreds of them. Some person probably even has a thousand of these just sitting in their inventory. Because this thing has been in the exclusive shop for so long, the potential for the amount of supply of these things is actually crazy, which is definitely going to limit the potential upside of the price. This probably could never reach the price of the chest mimic because there are just so much more of these in circulation compared to the chest mimic. But from now on, we can basically infer that these last chance notes on these items mean absolutely nothing and Big Games has no obligation for them to actually leave the exclusive shop if they say they are going to. But if you didn't notice, something did leave the exclusive shop because we did have four items here in the last update and we have this new lightning orb enchant this update. So they actually ended up removing the hidden treasure ultimate from the exclusive shop. So I'm not sure why they did that. But this is probably a decent investment because this ultimate is actually pretty good. What this ultimate does is basically plants one of these exotic treasure flags. Like it doesn't actually place it for five minutes. But for the duration of the ultimate, this gives you an exotic flag that increases the amount of drops you get from regular breakables by a ton. So you just basically get a little burst of items when using it. So this can be very useful for people that are AFKing overnight. And this could be some decent value, especially compared to something like the chest mimic, which is more than three times the price. I don't think a whole ton of people did end up buying the hidden treasure from the exclusive shop. So I honestly don't believe there's too many of these things in circulation. So this could potentially be a good investment. Personally, I did pick up one of these because I think this will go up in value as there aren't going to be too many of these in circulation. Plus, it is actually a good ultimate so overall i think this is a good investment for a lot of you in the long term short term anything could happen we are seeing a little bit of deflation right now but we'll talk about that in a second overall though i think this is a good pickup for a lot of you guys and something that you can hold on to for a while that is going to appreciate a lot in value Another thing that did leave the exclusive shop were the hoverboards. So if you invested in these, these probably will go up again over time. I believe yesterday they were 50 million and now they're 53.3. So they are going up a little bit in value. But again, this would probably be another good long-term investment as nobody can get these shiny hoverboards ever again. 
The diamond shovels that we suggested yesterday did go up a little bit in value. It turns out the mastery for it really isn't that good. So I think that's why the price of it didn't go up too much. But you could definitely make some profit off that trade if you listen to uh, my suggestion from a day or two ago. I think just a lot of people were underwhelmed by the mastery, so they're not even trying to do it. And that's probably why the price of the shovel didn't go up too much. It only went up a couple mil since my video. Now, something that is important we should talk about is that it does seem like we are seeing a deflation period. So things like huges and exclusive eggs are falling in price. Overall, I think this inflation can be almost completely attributed to the opening of the electric cats from the treasure hideout. As you guys can see here, we have opened up over 13,000 of these things in, in just over 24 hours. So that is a lot of huges. We were seeing these being opened up faster than the huge happy computer event, which is pretty crazy. So I think the expectation that a lot of people are getting free huges is lowering the prices of the other huges. And that's why we're seeing these prices drop by a couple million overnight. I have seen a lot of people speculating that the treasure hideout has been nerfed though and the odds of getting these are a lot lower now. So if that is the case, we could probably expect for inflation to take over once again. But obviously, I don't know if that's true. This is just what I'm hearing from the community. Apparently, a lot less of these are being opened every hour. So that's why people are thinking this has been nerfed. We're going to have to wait and see if that's true. But if we are able to keep opening as many of these electric cats as we have been in the past 24 hours, we can probably expect deflation to continue for quite a bit because it would be like another event like the huge happy computer event, which was the only event in the past few months that ever caused a real deflation period in the game. Either way, I think this deflation relies solely on whether or not that event actually has been nerfed or buffed or whatever is happening to it. So to summarize that, because I just yapped a lot, if we are able to continue getting a lot more of these and the event hasn't been nerfed, then deflation will probably continue for a little bit. But if this thing has been nerfed and people aren't getting many of these anymore, then we could probably expect inflation to take over. So we're going to have to wait and see about that. I know a lot of people were saying they think this inflation is caused by all of these diamond sinks that Big Games has put in the game, such as the booth tax or the mail tax for mailing items. Personally, I don't think that change has had that much of an effect on the market. Overall, it will help a lot to slow down inflation in the future, but in my opinion, I definitely don't think it's something that is big enough to cause an overall deflation period. I think that deflation is caused by the amount of huges that people are getting for absolutely free from the treasure hideout event. As you guys can see right now, I'm holding on to a lot of diamonds because honestly, I'm pretty unsure of the market right now. And I think whatever is going to influence the market is what big games changes with this new treasure hideout event, as well as some other things in the game. So I feel like the market is just completely at big games mercy right now. And honestly, trading during these times is kind of annoying because you can't really predict things. It's basically just dependent on what big games does and what they announce. So we're going to have to wait and see. Hopefully this yapping helped you out. And if it did, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and join the discord for that 10k giveaway that we should hit very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.